Hey there everybody, Abolitionist Jay here with today's vlog. It is currently about 6 o'clock on June 25th, 2018, and today was the last day of the Midwest Peace and Liberty Fest. Very sad, very sad. Uh, but I am currently, Murder Dog and I are currently somewhere in southwest Ohio, uh, a little ways away from Ben Stone's house. We, uh, as we mentioned in a couple of previous blogs, vlogs rather, uh, Shane Radliff and I were heading down here after the fest and we're going to hang out with Ben for a couple of days, which is super exciting for us. And, uh, I'm here waiting for Shane to catch up because apparently I was not aware he was driving Miss Daisy down here. Man, that boy drives slow. Anyway, <laughs> so I'm going to hang out for a few minutes and wait for him to catch up so we can go, uh, go to Ben's house together. And, uh, since we last talked to you, the, uh, the last day of the fest was pretty good. You know, hung out, listened to a few more presentations, uh, caught the end of the last one, which was our, our friend Nick Hazelton, uh, the uh, former anarcho yakitalist now the uh, pod-fading communist, as we call him. <laughs> um, yeah, and then uh, we finally got some recordings in last night for the uh, for the seeds, and uh, we actually did two, geez, I think we did almost five hours of recording. We did two, two and a half hour-ish episodes. Uh, just with uh, Shane Buell and I and uh, having a bunch of people come in and sit down and talk for a little bit, uh, including Shane Radliff. Um, we also had Prof. CJ stop by for a little while from the Dangerous History, po History Podcast, Nick Hazelton, who I just mentioned, uh, Randy England from the Freedom Fiends, uh, a couple of our van nomad nomading friends, uh, Chris and uh, the man who is now being known, who is now known as Mr. T. Uh, it was a lot of fun, and uh, you know, like I said, we went for hours, but uh, you know, we we we've been waiting to get content all weekend, so we finally got it. Never got around to doing a fiend show because by the time we were done recording the second seed show, it was already uh, after midnight. So, uh, you know, and then we hung out for a little bit, and uh, you know hung by the last bonfire where they end up throwing all the leftover wood into it and it was blazing quite high for quite a while in fact everybody had to move back about 10 feet because it was just getting too hot to sit around but you know hung out there and uh everybody uh for one last time got together and had some drinks and maybe some other things and then uh then everybody passed that we woke up this morning groggily and everybody had to pick up you know start putting their stuff away whoever was left because a bunch of people leave on sunday because they have to go back to work on monday uh people like me we don't so <laughs> we stay through monday and of course on monday morning lou fiend make, makes a huge breakfast for everybody he takes all the leftovers he has from uh, cooking for the weekend and takes leftovers from other people and throws them all together so there was a huge breakfast of eggs uh, hash browns even some steak and uh you know lots and lots of bacon so that was always good, and it, you know, it was sad to say goodbye, uh, obviously, because, well, even though, as I've said before, even though I've missed my kids, uh, I miss my Ann fam a lot. I get to see a lot of these people only once a year, so it's always sad to see them go, but I'm trying to put that on the back burner, because, like I said, I'm going to be seeing Ben Stone in a few minutes, so uh, that should help me, help me get through for the next couple of days, because Ben wants to do a little mini uh, fest down here with us, uh, because he wasn't able to make it up, so... Overall, the Midwest Peace and Liberty Fest was uh, awesome this year. You know, like I said, would have been better if I had the kids there. But uh, of all three years that I went, just uh, overall, the uh, you know the people there, the uh, the speakers, because I got to see Scott, I got to see see and meet and smoke a joint with Scott Horton, um, and a bunch of other people. Uh, just the whole atmosphere, just and everything involved. That just I think this was the best. You know, this was my favorite one so far. Uh, I definitely had a lot of fun last year with my kids. I had a lot of fun the year before with just Murder Dog and I, but this one just seemed to be the best that I've been to. And I actually heard that uh, echoed from a lot of people, uh, including, well, even though it was his first one, Brett Vanat from the School Su Sucks Project. Uh, I heard as uh, as we were getting ready to leave, he was saying that uh, he just absolutely loved the, uh, the whole thing. And uh, he's definitely planning on coming back next year, which is great. So, because uh, I actually, you know, I had fun talking to Brett too. We never got to record our show. He had invited Shane and Radliff and I onto the School Sucks, Pod uh, School Sucks podcast to talk about our van, nom uh, van nomadism. Uh, van nomadism. I can't even say that word. Van nomading experiences. <laughs> um, but we never we ran out of time. Uh, Brett had some car trouble that I did get taken care of. But uh, I, when I when I left, he did say to keep pestering him, and we will uh, make sure we get it done soon. So. Looking forward to that, but other than that, it's uh, it's a wrap for the Midwest Peace and Liberty Fest uh, this year, the sixth annual one, 
And uh, now we can start counting down to the days to the next one. So yeah. Well, on that, I'm gonna I'm gonna sign off. Uh, cut this one a little short, and uh, hopefully uh, Shane will be here soon, and then we can go see Ben. Um, not sure exactly when this is going to get posted. I still uh, I, f- I fell behind because obviously I had internet sh- issues up there. Uh, but hopefully by the end of this week, I will have posted all, all of the stuff from the fest and I uh, will be all b- caught back up again on the vlogs. And then, uh, yeah, we will continue. So thank you, everybody, as always, for watching. This has been Abolitionist J. And uh, I'll catch you next time, y'all. Peace.